Right. So, oh. listen up. Jerry, the person who should be showing you around has had an accident. Oh, dear. So, I'm Tracy, and it falls to me just about having a hangover which will kill a hippo. <laughs> so, stay with a group, and when you hit a whistle, it's time to move on. <whistles> oh, Christ, that's loud. I know the job you've applied for is in sales. Company policy is that you know every step of product creation. This, for instance, is where they put the slip on. The wet stuff. There, the slip. I know that. Fascinating process. Personally, I find these pre-interview tours to be an utterly pointless exercise. <laughs> but there again, so is living. You! Stay with a group. Simple enough instruction for you, Sheila, Sandy. Sorry. And it's Susie. What ifs? According to this, there should be four of you. You ill? A bit of a sniffle. Jeremy Jeff, you can stand at the back. Further. Right, so this is where they are. Well, I don't really know it's happening any more than you do. I'm in accounts. Oh, and how's that? Working in accounts. Mike, it's like, Mike, being forced to smear yourself in leper shit, then lick it off again. Whip spreadsheets. <laughs> so, any questions so far to which I sincerely hope the answer is no? No? No. No. Well, yes. What happened to Jerry, the man who should be showing us around? Oh, nothing much. Stupid. Marmalade accident. Marmalade? Wasn't stung by wasps, was he? No. It was at breakfast. Apparently he couldn't get the top of the jar up and ruptured himself. Bloody incredible! Actually, domestic accidents Not are that. Rather... This. Two days. Two full days after the date and he hasn't texted. Oh. Bloody incredible. That a bastard. They can be. No can about it. They are. Every single one of them. Jiggering is the opposite of jollying. And sponging is what they do when they're not friendly. Clear? No. Good. So, keep your eyes open for those processes. I'll be testing you. Hi. Sorry, right. I'm late. I'm with... Oh, no. Oh, bloody marvellous. I mean, really, God? Really? <laughs> so? Hmm. So? What are you doing here? Been here three years now. Senior position in the Counts. Very senior. You still, um... Uh... No. Looking for a change. Right. So, were you? No. Excuse me. Don't think I'm crying, but are you two once? God, it's like herding cats. Excuse me, can I ask? I'd really rather you didn't. Uh, will we get a chance to go to the loo before the interview? Doubt it, Jim. Jeff, and legally, you can't discriminate against me. I know my rights. What rights? I suffer from incontinence. It isn't funny. No. No. Bless. And you're so young. It's worse when I'm either very stressed or very happy. Anyway, the point is, you can't deny me toilet facilities. I actually run a support group building awareness and understanding. I have some badges with me. Here. Have one. Bless. We have nothing to lose but our pets. It's catchy. You're the public face of youthful incontinence. That's the goal. You never suffered? No. A1 Fitness me. I have a recurring Baruka. It's very interesting. <laughs> I knew a bloke once at asthma when I was working with my brother stop. in Corfu. Stop! Please, God, stop. Oh, and to answer your question, Joe. Uh, Jeff. To answer your question, yes, you all get to go and dry off. Everyone will get a fair chance. Huh. 
Did it speak? Did I speak? No? Uh... Yes. You did? Under your breath, but quite audible. Really? I sometimes say things out loud without realising myself. I think it must be a byproduct of dyspraxia. Of what? Dyspraxia? It means I can sometimes be clumsy and bump into things. Really? Fascinating. What is this? Bloody old bee? I think it's linked to the talking out loud thing. The rug awareness issues. So when you said, did I speak, I thought I'd better tell you that you did so you didn't think you were going mad. You said, ha. Huh. So, Will, why, ha? Huh. This has been a knee-jerk response to the idea that we'll all get treated equally. Meaning? Well, not much chance of me getting a fair crack of the whip. Not from an ex-girlfriend who never understood the concept when we were together. What do you reckon, folks? Will Her Highness play fair or take the first opportunity to stab me in the back? Uh, well, depends. I mean... If you can both be adults. I am an adult. I can assure you all, he has proved himself to be a frankly feckless, untrustworthy waste of space as a human being. But it won't count against him here. Oh, uh, why not? Sorry? Well, cards on the tape, we're all after the same job. I mean, if you actually think he is a shit, then from my point of view, great. All I'm saying is, if you really, really hate him, not for his chances, I say. Thanks, Pat. It's, it's nothing personal. He won't matter. He'll fuck things up of his own accord. You did dump him, didn't you? He didn't dump you. Oh, honey, he was the dumpy. I dumped on him from a great height. Is he violent? <laughs> like to see him try. I'm faithful. Who knows? Quite bloody possibly. Sorry. 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 But actually, I wasn't unfaithful. What was it then? Drink? No. No. I, mean, I like a drink. Nothing wrong with that, right? I like a drink. In moderation. Right. With the football. Right. Or a nice glass of wine on a summer's day. Right. In the garden. Yeah, whatever. The point is... So... I don't have a garden. I've got a balcony. Less work than a garden. Nice view. Right over the okay. city. Nice. So... I'd like a balcony, but I've got a basement flat. Garden access. Field day for burglars. I'd swap garden access for a balcony. Could you both just shut the fuck up about balconies? This is a job interview, not bloody gardener's question time. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> We've had, huh? Now we get, huh? Why gardener's question time? What? They're talking about balconies. What has that got to do with Gardner's question time? Grand designs, maybe. Location, location, location. Kirsty wants it all sob. I like her. She's a Tory. Oh, pity. But you right off. Point is, she might discuss balconies, but not on Gardner's question time. You sanctimonious gotta be right every time. Smug little shit. <laughs> See what I had to put up with. <laughs> Was that me? Yep. Great so. What's the point of applying for a job in a ceramics factory if you got... Dyspraxia. Lumsy bitch artist. You might as well go home, love. Right. Over there. Sorry? Go over there, you lot, now! Under bloody stand! Out of harm's way! You knew, didn't you? You knew I worked here. You bloody stalked me. This is deliberate. Despite your belief to the contrary, the world doesn't revolve around you. I actually simply want a job. Seriously, Susie, you should withdraw your application. Growing up at last. <laughs> actually, I don't think that was me, was it? Hello? That wasn't me. What? Knock those over. It was him, deliberately. Uh, not guilty. Wasn't it? I didn't see. Yes, you did. You're just too frightened to stand up to him. That's a very serious allegation. It was not me. Yes, it was actually. I saw you. That's libelous. When I was working. It was at... you. I saw it as well. Two against one. Tracy? What? We think Mr. Bloody Ambitious here framed this lovely young lady. Sorry, I, I don't know your name. Sue. Pleased to meet you. Christ, love, be a bit more subtle. Take your knickers off and stick your ass in his face. Well, there's no need for that. What? No need for sarcasm, bitterness, deep and dense misanthropy. <laughs> You're in the wrong building, precious. Oh, my God. You still love him. <laughs> Don't you dare say that. Shall I just tear up your application before we even get to the interviews? Save us all time. You do! You love him! Shut your simpering face, you little moon-eyed twat! 
She does. Trust me. I know. I live alone with three cats. I read closer. She dreams about you all day and then works herself into a frenzied, twisting, sweaty, sheet-soaking passion every night. Well, I don't love her. Yeah, you do, Dear man. Dear Written all over your face. Well, go to her, William. Carry her off. Walk upon golden sands into your future. You only live once. Face your fear. Well, tell him, you two. You should. Who dares wins? Well, that's the end of the tour. You start with clay and you end up with teapots and stuff. An everyday miracle. So, anybody got anything to say? No? Nothing? Good. Bugger off. Yes, actually, I do have something to say. Well, not say. Do. What? This. I gotta say. My pleasure. Sorry, folks. No such thing as a happy ending. And you know why? Because she's a selfish, thoughtless, cynical, demanding cow who didn't know a good thing when she had it, who's only interested in a relationship if her desperate inner insecurity, that solid self-loathing core of her, can be assuaged by controlling every aspect of her partner's existence. And you know the saddest thing? <laughs> the desperately sad thing. There hasn't been a day gone by when I haven't thought about her. And wish she was different. But she isn't. She's what she is. And I have just I got I'm not ashamed. I've got tissues. God, she's got a tongue down his throat. I have this overwhelming urge to sing Love Lifts Us Up Where We Belong. Shall I? No. no. Right. Should we head up to the office? Yeah. Bit of privacy. Makes a change from the usual interview procedure. Fascinating process. 